Today, I want to talk about the two biggest mistakes that freelancers make in the very beginning that could sabotage their success and their chances of getting a good result of making a full time income. And I'm going to start with number one, which is not setting your income goal ahead of time. This is like the number one thing that everybody overlooks when they decide to go into freelancing. It's not thinking ahead of time and having the foresight to say, how much do I actually aim to make this year? And if you're doing what I did, which was to transition from unemployed to full-time freelancer, you have to know ahead of time how much you want to make because if you don't set the goal, you're never going to reach it. So whether you want to set a big outrageous goal or if you want to be realistic and say, hey, I want to make maybe a little bit less than I was making at my last nine to five job, which is what was my goal. I knew I wasn't going to make six figures starting from scratch, um, being brand new to a field. I was very realistic. Maybe I shouldn't have been realistic. Maybe I should have aimed. <laughs> Maybe I should have um, shot for the stars. But I said to myself, well, I was making six figures in my last sales job. Um, I'm going to make a percentage of that when transitioning to a brand new field that I have no experiencing experience in. But the important thing is I set the goal. I set my income goal. And why that's so important is because then you want to work backwards. If I knew that my goal was to make sixty-five to seventy thousand dollars in my first year of freelancing, then that helped me to formulate a plan because I could have said, okay, you know, it's gonna take me you know, this amount of clients paying me this amount of money to make 70 to $75,000 in a year. So that's the big mistake is not setting your income goal ahead of time. Cause a lot of freelancers just go into this and say, Hey, I'm going to see how much I'm going to get paid. I'm going to see how much money I can make. You want to set the tone. Don't let, you know, don't leave this up to chance and don't think that you're magically going to make your income goal unless you actually sit there write the goal down and work backwards and see how many hours or how many clients you're going to have to work with to get there. The number uh, number two or the second biggest mistake that I see freelancers make is that, okay, they realize the importance of cold pitching. Maybe they start an email, uh, cold, a cold email strategy. They start pitching on maybe a platform like LinkedIn, which is what I did. Um, and the, the problem with this is, is that they don't have a plan. That is the biggest mistake when starting cold outreach is to not have a plan. And the plan has to tell you what are the ways that you're gonna stay consistent with cold outreach? Meaning how many message are, messages are you gonna send per day? How many contacts are you gonna connect with on LinkedIn? How many proposals, if you're on Upwork, which I'm not familiar, not super familiar with that platform, I don't recommend people go that route. It's not my strategy, it's not what I did. But if you're on there, be on there strategically and intentionally and say, I'm gonna connect with this amount of clients or send proposals or whatever it is you do on Upwork. So you want to set a goal, whether it be daily, I, I suggest weekly, of how many cold pitches you're gonna send. And this does something mentally, and I'm just gonna give you a little example from my own personal life. So I've always gone to the gym, but recently I just started really enjoying the gym and like seeing good results from it. And I'm trying to think of like, okay, why? Why is this time different? And the difference is, is that what I'm doing is I'm going in there with a workout guide that I bought for $30 online that I'm really psyched about. I love this workout guide. It's like a PDF that I paid for. And it tells me what I need to be doing that day. It gives me a plan. So when I walk in there, I'm not wandering around just like doing anything I want with the equipment. And most importantly, I'm progressing with my weight. So like if I do, you know, a pull down and it's 25 pounds, I know that I'm going to shoot for 30 the next time. So that's the big difference is I went from kind of not really knowing what I was doing at the gym, feeling, you know, purposeless, wandering around to actually having a strategic plan, which I, you know, bought the workout guide and I have a goal, which is to surpass my last weight. And that made me think of, okay, that's that's applies to so many different things, especially for freelancers, is that when you are sending cold outreach to clients, the number one mistake you can make is not setting a goal of not saying, hey, I'm going to send 10 cold pitches per week. They just kind of go, and I've fallen victim to this as well, but we tend to just send a cold pitch and be like, okay, and go on to something else. No, you want to be able to set 
certain amount of cold pitches that you want to send per day you could even set a time limit and say hey i'm going to scroll my linkedin feed and you know purposefully engage with my ideal clients for 15 minutes a day that's something i recommend in my online course 30 days to paid is you know i actually provide a pdf and i say how many people are you going to connect with per day how many cold pitches are you going to send per day how much time you're going to spend on your linkedin feed interacting and working the algorithm to your advantage and that's up to you and and the level you're at and what type of free time you have in your day to do that for me i was unemployed when i became a freelancer so i was sending a lot a lot a lot of cold pitches and a lot of connections every single day um, because i had the time to be doing it but it's really important to also make the time so really those are my takeaways if you can just you know hear me out on this one thing and these two points which is set your income goal ahead of time know how much you want to make and work backwards don't just go into freelance writing and say well let's see how much i get paid when you look at your you know yearly income goal you know how many clients you need and what type of rates you need to send or, or, or what type of rates you need to set and it also helps you to not waste time with low paying clients. There are certain people I've spoken to, certain clients where I wanted um, the business, I was in need of a client, but I knew it wouldn't make sense for me to take on that client because they weren't paying me enough. So if I take on this one low paying client, that means I have to take on three other clients to make up for the income that I'm gonna lose, and then I'm gonna be scrambling and I'm gonna be overwhelmed with work, so it doesn't make sense. So when you have that yearly income, goal you can work backwards and t and determine how many clients do I need to take and what rates do I need to be charging to meet that income goal and number two when you start cold pitching don't go into it without a strategy no step by step so that when you open LinkedIn or you open your email or Upwork or whatever you're doing you will know exactly what you are tasked with that day which is to send a certain amount of messages each and every day. That's where the consistency comes in. And that's really where results come in is being consistent. You are not going to see results if it's just willy nilly, like, hey, sent a cold pitch here, sent a cold pitch there, jumped on this opportunity. No, systematize it. Actually get on uh, your computer and write down a goal and say, I'm gonna send 20 cold pitches per week. I'm gonna spend 15 minutes in the morning scrolling my LinkedIn feed and interacting with people and engaging in a way that works the algorithm to my example so that I become, or my advantage, <laughs> so that I become more visible to my ideal clients. So set your yearly income goal and systematize your cold outreach plan and set those goals. Thanks guys.